Herr Tiehofer. Mr. Tiehofer, we are at this year's Bauma and Pyrtec brought along a real innovation. A safety glove to protect mechanics against accidents relating to hydraulics work. How does the glove function? This glove is a unique protection glove. It is composed of a triple layer safety material. At the same time, it is well wearable for the service technician. It especially protects the palm of the hand while in the hydraulics danger zone. The glove is suitable for service technicians, mechanics or whoever works in the hydraulic system's proximity. Let's look at the worst case scenario. There's a small pinhole break in a hydraulic hose which is not visible. The technician stretches his hand into the danger zone and is hit by a stream of hydraulic fluid. How much time does the technician have to remove his hand? We didn't measure the time. Instead, we determined the amounts of pressure which the glove can take. We did this testing in an English safe laboratory with pressures of up to 700 bar. Ultimately, the technician is able to remove his hand in time in case he is hit by a high pressure stream of fluid. How frequent are these kinds of accidents in Europe? Unfortunately, I can't give you concrete numbers on this because, of course, the nature and degree of accidents vary. Thankfully, the truly dangerous, severe accidents with injections of hydraulic fluids are rare. But let's say, even if we're talking 10 amputations per year in Germany, and an amputation may very well be the consequence of a hydraulic fluid injection, these deserve to be prevented. This is where we want to make an active contribution. It has now been two days since you first showed the glove to the public at Bauma. How has the reception of the glove been since? And do you have plans to refine the glove further, for example by extending it to cover the elbow? The response has been very positive. Not only our traditional customers are approaching us, but also many service technicians who are visiting the Bauma are interested and plan to introduce the glove to their seniors. All in all, a very positive feedback, which also extends to the fact that Pyrtec has expanded beyond its traditional service business. Regarding the second part of the question, yes, we can very well imagine to develop the glove further. We have received requests from user groups outside the traditional hydraulics business, like the fire brigade and relief organizations. Currently, we are discussing the further development internally. Besides the seriously dangerous fluid injections, the glove also saves from everyday injuries, for example from loose wiring. The glove protects the technician's arm when approaching the hose. By the way, one more remark. Usually, the technicians injure their auxiliary hand. While holding the hose with the main hand, they stretch the other hand into the danger zone to palpate along the hose. Nonetheless, we sell the gloves in pairs, of course. Mr. Tiehofer, thank you for the interview. Yeah,